Is it difficult with your children? Trudy was badly burned in a house fire at just 11 months old, and she's lived all her life with the very obvious effects of scarring. When I was little growing up, it presented problems with my friends and my peers, and also when I was growing, because the scar tissue doesn't grow alongside me, so I was having to have multiple surgeries many times a year to release the scarring so I could actually move and function like a normal person. There's tissue embedded in the paraffin. But could we be on the brink of a scar-free world? Scientists in East Grinstead are planning a scar bank, basically a collection of scar tissue that biologists will analyse to develop ways of helping patients from the moment they're first treated. The surgeons have to remove the scar. That scar at the minute goes in a bin. And that piece of scar that's going in a bin is like a piece of gold dust to me because within what it has is the real biology of the scarring process. And if we can target that biology, we can think about how we might be able to reverse the process of scarring and uh, develop a scar-free healing uh, process. Actress Amanda Redmond spent the first five years of her life in and out of East Grinstead after mm, being burned. Yeah, I, I uh, pulled a, a cauldron of turkey soup, boiling turkey soup over me when I was 18 months old, so I was very badly scalded. And are you still affected by that now? I'm not affected by it. I still have a quite a severe burn on my arm, but um, it doesn't She's supporting me. the scar bank scheme, as are surgeons on the same site at the world-renowned Queen Victoria Hospital. If we can reduce the amount of scarring that patients get by the way that we treat them, and we treat them far more quickly and with far better techniques to reduce the scarring, the next question for any patient and for any surgeon treating those patients is, well, how can we minimise it to nothing? And if we can, then the inevitable results of that are fantastic. It would also dramatically reduce the amount of psychological issues that would that present with scarring and life-changing injuries. And Trudy campaigns to raise awareness of just those issues, while experts in East Grinstead hope the scar bank will be operational within a couple of years. Mark Norman, BBC South East Today, East Grinstead.